There are pyramids on Mars, you know. Who put them there? And when is anyone's best guess? And guess what? We just happen to be anyone. It is probable that in the very distant past that Mars was habitable, that a civilization existed there and possibly had developed relations with the Earthlings. There is very little doubt that we had visitations in the past by a much more advanced society. Could they have been the Martians? Perhaps this is where the overwhelming interest is coming from in our obsession with the Red Planet. Cairo, for example, is the most ancient site on Earth in terms of the pyramids, and Cairo is named after Mars. So it would seem that this now apparent desolate planet was of major significance in the ancient world. We see renaming of places like York in America, as settlers from York now claimed New York as their home. Perhaps this was the case at Cairo where the Martians came and settled in Egypt after their own planet was cataclysmically destroyed beyond habitation. Maybe hieroglyphics was the language of the Martians, the sudden engraving of hieroglyphics in Egypt at the time of the dynastic Egyptians could be in that of a lost civilization trying to document their history here on Earth. We see other such inscriptions like the Drapa Stones dating to 12,000 years ago and telling a tale of an apparent alien crash landing on the Earth where the aliens became stranded in remote Tibet. Maybe the same such beings crashed closer to Egypt and were able to establish an empire. The pyramids on Mars are stunning examples of a civilization that once was present on both planets. The Twin Peaks on Mars do resemble pyramid structures like we see at Giza, and it is complete with a sphinx-looking object. The debris we see all over Mars is possibly the result of the cataclysm. It is uncharacteristic for debris to be sprawled out all over the surface of something, and you need to consider where the debris came from. They must have been built up at some stage in Martian history. Anyway guys, we want to bring news to you of more stunning discoveries in Cairo recently. Again, backing up the idea that Cairo City is in fact the ruins of the gods, the gods being the civilization that came to this earth from elsewhere, Mars possibly. Wait till you hear this. Archaeologists working at a dig in Cairo have found several fragments of stone slabs with inscriptions that could be 4,000 years old. German Egyptologist Dietrich Rau, the head of the mission, said one inscription referred to Atom, an important and frequently mentioned god as being responsible for the flooding of the Nile River in the late period between 664 and 332 BC. Mataria in eastern Cairo was once part of the ancient city of Heliopolis, or the City of the Sun. Egypt is pretty much constantly announcing archaeological discoveries, hoping this will spur interest in its ancient treasures and revive tourism, called the lifeblood of its economy, which declined following a failed revolution in 2011. Also, French archaeologists working in Luxor have uncovered a coffin and a painting believed to date to Egypt's 18th dynasty, making them 3,500 years old. The coffin is described as being complete and made of wood. It's also said to feature some identifying marks. The painting, which is done on sandstone, has suffered over time and is missing a piece. The two artifacts were found next to one another. And there is also the hype about the ramp they have discovered at the ancient quarry. Is anyone actually buying into the idea that the pyramids were built using enormous ramps? An example of how ridiculous this can be found in the fact that a ramp to move stones up to the heights of the Great Pyramid would need to be miles long, yet this is the only such ramp ever found. A more convincing theory on this ancient ramp is simply that it was the road in and out of the quarry site. 
we can all speculate, right? We are just touching base with you guys on this one tonight, and you can let us know what your thoughts are below. As always, thank you for watching. Uh -huh.